Taurus, we will have a look at the advice for you. So let's have a look what's coming up around this. What could a relationship with this person look like? How will things be between the two of you? Okay, we have five of ones, but it's come up upright. Okay, page of cups, ace of pentacles, and the four of wands. Okay, good news is, is that you have the marriage card and the card of union. So a long-term relationship that could result in engagement, marriage or remarriage is highly likely with this person. Pisces energy around the relationship could indicate a very deep emotional bond. Pisces energy is a water sign. Um, Pisces can also get deeply attached and deeply invested here. So this could very, um, very much be symbolic of falling in a very deep love with each other. Um, Page of Cups, I think you're going to fall in love. Uh, or they're going to fall in love. It's almost like head over heels. You didn't see it coming. You weren't expecting it. It just happened, Taurus. And wow, to have that, that beautiful emotional surprise, and then to have that four of ones together, I think is really beautiful. Okay. You're going to enjoy a lot of your courtship stage together as well. Um, four of Wands, this person is big on um, romance, okay, creating atmosphere, ambience, vibes, doing sweet, full, uh, sweet, thoughtful things. And I sort of touched on this and, and, and mentioned it in the general, uh, but I think that's what uh, this person is coming up with. That's what they um, are wanting to and willing to provide for you uh, romantically. Now, the Five of Wands to me is up right here, and this shows some dysfunction in your relationship. But it could be dysfunction because of differences of opinion, Taurus, differences of it's almost like the foundations of which can be like trust, um, future, etc. You have different there's there's something about different values, I think, between the both of you. If it's not that there's several people pictured in the cards, I'm wondering if there's going to be problems in the relationship because of other people like friends or disapproving parents they could prove to be a challenge. Now, it's not to say that you can't get it sorted because what follows the five of ones is the six of ones, and that's a card of order, of restoration, of success, of victory. So I think it is something you, you're going to be able to work through. I think it's just going to take time, okay? Definitely going to have to have patience, okay? Temperance with those sorts of things. But issues could arise there. So try to be, I guess, diplomatic when meeting this person's friends and family. Um, because I think that it could be very much a sensitive issue for either this person or for you. I wanted to focus more on this person. So I think it's more from their side than yours. Um, like, but family traditions could be different. It could even be like if you introduce each other to each other uh, introduce yourselves to each other's fa um, each other's family and that sort of is a bit of a clash here so there may be some hurdles there but nothing I don't think you'll be able to work through uh, the page of cups can also be uh, uh, unrealistic fantasies um, as well okay so someone could have very high expectations coming into this relationship so it's like uh, they're setting the bar setting the bar high um, Taurus, so it's like you'll have to aim high, or you'll have to, um, I guess, really devote yourself um, to this person in that aspect uh, with that Page of Cups. Page of Cups, pages are known to be an experienced, youthful, um, perhaps immature at times. He's not coming up as reversed, but I think with the Page of Cups, because he represents emotion, it could be emotional immaturity on this part, on this person's part as well. So, I get the sense that they're not too experienced when it comes to love or being empathetic. I think you might be the more mature one coming into this relationship, Taurus. Um, so I think there's unrealistic expectations in how this person wants you to make them feel in a way, if that makes sense. Like they might want you to go above and beyond every time, Taurus. And, you know, it, relationships work both ways. It's 50-50. It's um, it can't always be you. Uh, but I guess the advice is, is here is in how you deal with that uh, emotional immaturity at times. The Ace of Pentacles is coming up as reversed. And this can be things about loyalty and money, um, finances, assets, and giving. But this is reversed. So there might be complications in those areas. Um, it could also have uh, financial troubles in this connection somehow. 
uh, or there might be comp uh, like a competitive energy, like who makes more money, who earns more, who who puts more money forward, or who offers more to the other. Um, Taurus, but if this is you coming up as an ace of pentacles, you're not going to be overly generous or giving to this person. And I don't know why. The hand is facing the page of cups, so I don't know if some of their emotional, immature outbursts are going to put you off a bit. Um, but I think you might... You might not give as much as you normally do when it comes to these relationships. So there's something here that may may or may not uh, put you off in a way when um, dealing with this person and in dealing with this uh, connection. But let's see what the advice is for you. Okay, full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming. A personal issue reaches a resolution. Okay, you're going to help them with some sort of epiphany, Taurus. Or you'll have to help them with some sort of epiphany. Okay, um, believe in the impossible. And last card, you're very close to achieving your goal. Okay, gibbous moon. All right, the answers you need are coming. Okay, so a lot of talking needs to happen in this relationship, a lot of expression. Gemini is all about communication, so talking about thoughts, feelings, problems, issues are going to help you um, overcome obstacles in this relationship, especially um, better communication with because it's sitting on top of the five of ones. I'm wondering um, if you make more effort with this person's family and friends, there is a possibility that you can overcome those sorts of issues, but also talking to each other. Full moon means things need to be magnified, so things are going to have to be really... Um, looked at with a magnifying glass when you're talking like you need to be very specific with this person uh, Taurus when there's an issue or when you need to express yourself whether you say something good or judgmental or constructive or um, praiseful you need to be specific and, and, and very clear and concise because that clarity mental clarity is what this person is going to need um, and the answers you need are coming as well so um You'll at times you may feel like you're going to have to demand or like draw out answers from this person because they may not always tell you, um, communicate to you how what's going on in their mind. So sometimes at times you'll feel like you're sort of pulling teeth just to get answers from this person, just to get some clarity. Uh, so that could be coming up. We do have a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. Cancer can be the past. Uh, cancer can be grudges or sentimentality. Um, and I think about it's about this person's emotional past because full moon in Cancer is sitting on top of the page of cups, which is Pisces. So straight away, that makes me think it's an emotional issue. Um, you're going to help them realize something significant about themselves, whether it's something like how emotionally mature they are, uh, maybe the unrealistic fantasies they put on you. It's a harsh lesson for them to learn, Taurus, but you're going to be the one that's going to teach them that. And I think you're, you've come into their path for a reason with the temperance. It's like I always connect like anything that's sort of major arcana and talks about fate. To me, I think it's meant for that person or it's meant for you. And I think there's a connection with a lesson here. Um, so personal issue reaches resolution. It could be for you as well, okay? This love may give you some sort of epiphany about yourself emotionally. Areas where you could improve on, areas where you could build on, areas where you, you need to look into, um, you know, things you've sort of shied away from or things you've sort of suppressed. That might all come out because it's magnified. Full moons is magnified. It could also be about your past, your attachment style, uh, because, you know, um, especially about the, the crab goes into protecting themselves. So okay, uh, some something about emotionally maturity and protecting or needing to protect do it out, doing it out of self-protection, uh, I think is coming up around this reading. but I think the both of you are going to work through a lot of issues and I do see a lot of epiphanies here, um, but they'll be rewarding. They will. 
Epiphanies, there may be times throughout this relationship where you retreat, okay? You walk away and you have epiphanies whilst you either are distanced or maybe even broken up. There may be a period where you break up temporarily and you go through those epiphanies, I think, that needs to happen. You've got the blue moon, so this is a rare connection. Blue moons are rare. It speaks about uniqueness, rarity, um, believing in the impossible, Taurus. You're going to achieve something very magnificent in this relationship or something that you didn't think was possible, uh, it did come up. What was the card underneath? Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Um, it could be around money. It could be around loyalty, commitment, consistency, or offering. Um, or it's like, uh, Taurus, you might be very... Uh, you Normally, you're known to be quite a generous sign, especially to the people that you really care about. But you might notice that the way in which how generous you are, how giving you are... Um, how much of yourself you're offering is very rare or it's very infrequent. Um, like you might show appreciation normally in relationships more often than with this person. So some something that you're going to be doing is going to be very rare. Um, it could also be them. I only think it's you because the Ace of Pentacles is underneath. But if it's them, then I think um, you have to have belief in this connection. Because the, the impossible or what seems impossible with this person is, is absolutely attainable, is absolutely possible. Uh, so that's refreshing to see, I feel. That's very refreshing to see uh, in this connection. Uh, and then you have your very close to achieving your goal uh, with the four of ones underneath. This is powerful. This is, you're almost going to feel like this is a bit of a challenge, this relationship, but you're going to get a lot of emotional rewards. Um, we've got the gibbous moon here, so almost at um, a full moon here, almost reaching a climax. Uh, you're going to reach a very significant chapter with this person. And for a lot of you, it is around engagement and marriage or even long-term commitment. So, so a solid connection is possible um, and you'll be very close to doing that. I also want to say for some of you Taurians, this love could be the one that you have before you actually get married. Now, that could be to another person, but this could be your step because it says you're very close to achieving your goal. It may not be them, but you may come close to having those things. And then once you learn your lessons with this person, the next relationship, because for some of you, this, this won't be your happily ever after, um, but for others, this is going to be the predecessor, the relationship that's going to come before the marriage, before the next step, before the, the significant chapter that you're searching for in love. So very exciting, actually. Um, but I will leave it at that, Taurus. So thank you again uh, for tuning in.